Okay guys, special edition. Rick new. This just in. Hope I can get this before my roommate comes in because he makes a lot of noise. I got this thing in the mail today. I want to get this video posted tonight. Let's get some aesthetics here going. Because the box is huge. Um, let's see. I need to stand this up on something. Let's get these boxes. Okay. There we go. Push this out a little bit. Uh, okay. And that's not just to advertise my buddy's store. Which is the best one in Tigard, Oregon. But to make room for this humongous, I filled up the whole darn. Take this up. Alright, so you see how big this box is? Inside is another box that pretty much consumes the entire space, the entire volume. 14 pounds of gaming goodness. Oh, I don't have my unboxing knife. I'm not sure where I put it. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I can't... I don't know what box I can compare this with. I would say, I thought... I saw the gallerist in the store once. And... Picked up the box, and the box was pretty heavy, I thought. It's bigger than this box. But it's not, this box is heavier. 14 pounds. I, I didn't believe it when I saw it. But here, I'll just bring it over. Oh man. Ooh, almost ripped. Ta da! You guys recognize that? Anachrony. This is a huge sleeve too to have to pull out. Anachrony sleeve. Um, scissors. What scissors? No, I don't need scissors. Let me get this. Oh, it's gonna be a really quick unboxing. Um, there we go. Hopefully, it'll be quick unboxing. I don't want to ruin the sleeve, that's what's going on here. Oh, where are my scissors? Where's my knife? Got some scissors right here. Alright. Need to split that plastic. And this is a huge box. It's like two feet tall. Almost, like 20 inches maybe. Push it down. Alright. Let's check out the artwork. This is really a nice sleeve. It, you know, comparatively, I have that sleeve on my Euphoria Kickstarter edition. And it's pretty boring. Purely decorative. This one actually, it shows stuff inside the box. I mean, it's a duplicate of what's here, but I have the custom sleeve because I backed the science nerds, the progressives, and it's got the custom artwork, hence the, the lion emblem here. This is our leader, one of them. Here's another one. Strapping young man. I think he's kind of an elder looking guy. Alright. Here's the retail box, what it looks like on the back. Um, yeah, see, I gotta pick up my. Man, I really wish I had a tripod now. Alright. I would have thought I'd have a replacement by now, but I guess not. Here's the front of the box. Let's 
Ooh. Looks good, looks good. I actually like the front of the box better than the custom sleeve part. I like the accents of the the faction on the back. Alright. Put that there. You can see. This is these are frantic uh rules. So you're gonna get a rule book for each language. Uh French, uh English and German. There's the French, here's the English. German. Wow, you can see so you can get everything in triplicate. Then we got the uh rule book. So that what is this? This is Alright, now I gotta look. This little one must be reference, right? Component list, uh, basics of the game. This thicker one, probably the uh, reference. Something or the. This is really a book. So again, component list. Wow. I wonder if one of these was a Kickstarter extra. Again, this is one of those that I just trusted the company. High production quality. Look at that. Full color instructions. How to play stuff. Maybe the other one's a quick start guide. Alright. Um, ooh, an art book. I don't remember this. Oh well. Thank you. Ooh, oops. And the backstory of stuff. Sorry, just flipped directly to the uh, center. Centerfold. Different kind of meaning now these. Ooh, extra bags. Oh, broken token. I hope you're at work for uh, inserts for this thing. Cause, well, look at this. This is all cardboard in there. All of it. Uh, all cardboard and cards. Where's the minis? So, now I backed it. Remember, so we get the exclusive minis. So this is a character. I don't remember. Well, this is my faction. It's got some extra stuff in there. It looks like. There is some extra stuff, I just don't remember what. Maybe this is one of them. One of the extra cards. Didn't unlock everything, but we unlocked plenty. What's this? Regions? Oh, these are like... Yeah, I'm not even going to try to explain what they are. I don't remember what they are. I haven't been looking at the rules. I've been trying to peek at the PDF. What is this? Is a player guide? Appendix? This is nice. Thick. I will need, these look like they're maybe like as big as uh, Shadow Rift or Dominion. I mean, that style of uh, card. So these will be too small for my penny sleeves. So I will definitely need to be ordering some sleeves. Got some custom tokens, they're all plastic. With some water, some resources. Looks like water droplets. Those look like um, the disease cubes in Pandemic, the, the fancy ones. Um, these will fit the penny sleeves. Actually, no, these will be too wide, I think. Um, these are more player guides, game phases, and something else. We got uh, conversion. I'm not sure what those are. Maybe the markets. All right. Mini cards. Oh man, I'm gonna need a lot of sleeves. There's a lot. Look at that. That's like a five base thick, five base of an inch. Custom dice. Looks really good. Um, standees for cardboard, which we we probably will. Well, yeah, we will need them. Only three in here. Oh, there's four. All right. We got. Uh, game board and stuff. Like two game boards. Oh no. Holy cow. So these are the player mats. This right here, the bigger piece of cardboard is the player mat. We'll not need to laminate these, Sue. My buddy Sue's been laminating all sorts of stuff. These are thick. It's just super thick. I hope they don't warp like everything else has been lately. Um, and it looks like this is the game board. So on top are the two halves of the game board. 
And then on the bottom are the player mats. And it looks like there are five, so there's an extra for something. Lots of cardboard right here. Um, lots of cardboard inside here. So we got a scoring pad, which we don't really need. We could probably just use some generic app for that. Here are all the tokens. Holy cow. I think, I think this one sheet per faction. Looks like. I'm gonna try to be careful with these, not pop them out yet. Uh, um, oh, this is my faction. Oops. I already popped one out. Is that? See the lion on the top there? Okay. I'm trying to dig deep into the, um, holy cow. Into so I can, we can see those nice plastic minis of the uh, the mechs. Is there more game pieces for replayability and randomization? I'm sure. Oh, there they are. Lots of sheets of cardboard. Holy cow! Oh wow! These are nice. Not sure how I'll pull it out though. Because it's got a it's got a cap on it, a lid. So check that out though. Nice. Now the colored bases. Ooh. I need finger holes on these. Okay, I get to just comes out. Wow. Artipia, are you you gonna watch this video? Artipia Games and Draw Labs, so you can see what minis are supposed to look like. These are big hunks of plastic too. Tape shut. Big hunks of plastic, but the detail is definitely there. <sighs> More tape, of course. Tape on all four sides. Let's get three of them. Let me pop this lid open. It's not a heavy duty insert, but it's it's sturdy. All right, I don't know if I'll need that lid anymore, but check these out. Wow, there we go. Not a tremendous amount of detail, but enough, right? Ooh, look at that. Colored bases. Check out these griffins. I, I call them griffins. They're griffins, right? Close enough. They're, well, they're lions with wings, right? This griffin, right? Look at that. Ooh. Pretty badass. I would love to paint these, but I'm not an artist. Oh, the the bases come off. Oh, see. But we don't need to. We don't need to pull them off. This is like had I not seen Mechs versus Minions. Yet, I would say that these were the best minis to come in the game. Mechs versus minis, they're pretty nice. These here are the uh, Lost in Space mech looking things with a drill, glove. It just remind me of that robot from the old show. Uh, check it out. I would pull out the uh, scientists to pop them in, but I mean, it's just the cardboard that pops in there. And then we have these other natural tree looking mechs for the hippies. Looks all veiny, but they're like roots. And then, I don't know which ones are the spiritual ones. I think they're the tentacle things. For the, uh, oh, maybe it's this thing with the face on it. On the groin. Yeah. Well, maybe he looks tipped in. Maybe, maybe these are the, uh, the fighting faction, right? The militants. Who knows? Maybe it's the, I think it's the artsy guys. Or the, uh, cultists. See, they got faces all around. 
So that's the quick unboxing. Um, I'm going to uh, stop the video and I'm going to set up the game. I might have to pull out another leaf on the table. So yeah, I did sort of clean up stuff. I just sort of pushed the rest of it to the side there, my drink and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so I will probably have to pull out the the other the third the second leaf, so I'll have room to set up the game. But um, it is midnight, precisely midnight tonight, and uh, I want to get it set up. So, or I'm going to punch out cardboard. So, um, if you don't see a video um, right away of the game setup, go to Rado's run through, and the stuff that what he has is a pre-production copy, and they included the the minis. These are pretty big minis. They're not like giant like the others or you know some of the zombicide stuff, but they're pretty big for a worker placement game. So. This is really awesome. Can't wait to dig my hand, my grubby hands into everything. So um, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video, I guess. Um, I'll have this posted tonight. All you guys enjoy. Um, see you later.